Well, hello out there, good people. I hope you all are doing well. I would like to welcome you all to Brown Bag Tarot, where we unpack bags together over here. All right. Now, this piece of luggage I'm coming to y'all with right now, this is for the Scorpios. All right. And we're going to unpack this bag together right now. It's for October 2021. Mm-hmm. We're going to see what come out of this bag, Scorpio. All right. So uh, while I'm shuffling these cards, if y'all can and will, hit that like button for me. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. All right. I greatly appreciate it. Let's get into it, Scorpio. What's, what's up for the Scorpio for October 2021 spirit? Thank you. Y'all know I done prayed and meditated. I wouldn't come to y'all before I have. They just save a little time. You know, mm -hmm. that's one, two, mm. three, all right. Now, I might be dealing with the Libra because Libra got this card too. And I said in their reading, they might be dealing with a Scorpio. So what we got for y'all, ideal course of action. Let love be your beacon, 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 a beacon of hope, like a place of hope. Let love be your place of hope. Hmm. What else we got here? Inner truths, fresh approach. Might be dealing with the Virgo. Uh, infinite blessings and laughter. Mm-hmm. Okay. Infinite intuition. Scorpios are very intuitive. Very intuitive. Okay. Very intuitive. All right. Intuition. Inner truths. Love. Ideal course of action. Fresh approach. Laughter. Intuition. I feel like Scorpio. Somebody need to lighten up. Well, this is your reading, so I'm talking to you. Scorpio, you might need to lighten up. Mm hmm Ideal course of action. What is this? Ideal course of action. One. Two. The magician. Ideal course of action. What you cooking up? Hmm. What you cooking up, Scorpio? And both of these cards, she got a chameleon on her head and she got some kind of hat on hers. What are you cooking up, Scorpio? Mm hmm Because I feel like it's a trip planned with this laughter card at the end of it all. See that? One is on a horse. They're on a horse, too, and they just laughing. So I feel like it's going to end up in um, something fun. Mm-hmm. I feel like you're planning something, and it's going to end up fun. Yeah. Okay. A magician. And a tower. Mm hmm. I'm gonna have to clarify that one. The tower. Let love be your beacon. What is that about? King of Swords. King of Pentacles. Uh huh. I'm hearing, yeah, some coins going to be spent. Coins going to be spent. Or in this love department, you could be dealing with a um, Aquarius or a, a, a Taurus. I'm going to have to clarify the King of Swords, too. Mm -hmm. Inner Truths. 
Is this Queen of Pentacles? Got the King and the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with your partner. This could be dealing with your love relationship. Here we have a perfect match going on. Okay. All right. Five of Swords. Somebody, somebody dead inside. <laughs> So, or, you know, somebody, somebody need to put their heart back. What the fuck? Okay? The hell here? Why he got a hole in his heart? There's nothing there. Where his heart is supposed to be. It's like a gate. A gate. Don't come over here. Got a, a gate locking their heart out or something. What the fuck? You know? And it spills out. There's somebody broken. Somebody broken as hell. Dry as hell. Somebody. No, oh, man. I'm going to have to clarify a lot. Scorpio, what is going on? Fresh approach. Fresh approach. Ten of Pentacles. Family situation. Queen of Wands. There's a lot of people here. Inner Truths. Queen of Pentacles. The star card, got Aquarius again, Knight of Wands. I know somebody ain't jumping through no fiery holes here, okay? See that? I'm jumping through a fiery hole. Somebody better not be jumping through a fiery hole. Lord have mercy. Man, there's a lot going on here. I got to do a lot of clarifying. Infinite blessings. Emperor. <laughs> Emperor and the Hermit. <sighs> mm -mm. Laughter. Two of Cups. Page of Pentacles. Intuition. The moon. Mm -mm. <sighs> Something about this just just seems just sneaky to me. Some something about this just don't seem like it's on the up and up. Okay, I'm gonna tell you why immediately. All of these cards. I've done readings and stuff, and I haven't pulled so many cards, you know, for the energy that was coming out. But this is a lot of cards. It's a lot to read. So I feel like it's a lot going on, but I feel like it's a lot going on because trying to web the, weave the pieces of it all together, I feel like... I feel like it's a lot of effort and a lot of work being done to make this thing make sense. What is the thing? Oh, man. It's a secret, too, because we got the moon underneath it all. Intuition and the moon. That That's the underlying energy here. Because when I'm done laying out the cards or after all the jumpers jump out, I flip the deck. Because that's the underlying energy. Intuition and the moon. Man, come on. That's that's like cooking up some shit. And not only that, I feel like it is some sneaky shit. Because look at this. She's sitting there. You got somebody hollering at the moon. Oh. Okay, that means that she distracted. She distracted by, by the howling of the moon. Full, well, it's not a full moon. It's kind of like a quarter of a moon but anyway howling at the moon and something about to jump up and drag her ass right in the water trying to get somebody distracted what the f i don't like it i'm gonna tell you that right now oh man this is a lot so where do we start ideal course of action Man, listen, this is just, this giving me a headache. <laughs> this is frustrating. Now, see, it's like I can't even get it out. It's like, it's so much. 
to try to decipher because I feel like I feel like I feel like you're trying to make the puzzle pieces fit in some kind of way they don't. And then let's look at this. Okay, so and again, like I said, it's a lot of people here. King of Swords, King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the Emperor, okay? The Knight of Wands. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay? There's like six people. What is going on here? It's too much. Godly. Fresh approach. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands. This is too much. But Scorpio, I think I'm going to have to do y'all energy and y'all reading over. I'm going to post this, but I'm going to do another one for y'all specifically. Because I just feel like, I feel like somebody is trying to distract another person to bring them down. Listen, ugh, okay? And I feel like it's a lot going on here to, to, it's like, you know how you have to say a lie and then say another lie to cover up that lie? And it's like, wait a minute, I thought you said, and then you lie again. I feel like this is just a big ass web. And I feel like it's getting out of control, too. Yeah, I feel like it's getting out of control. Yeah, we got the tower right here. The magician and the tower. The thing that you're trying to cook up, this ideal course of action, you know, that you're trying to cook up, it ain't going to work with the tower. Look at her. She, she, she trying to hold the fucked up shit together. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no, this foundation is cracked from the top. All the way down to the bottom. All the way down to the foundation. Now, normally, that's not the tower. Okay? That's why I like the imagery on decks. Because it gives me different details. I've seen tower cards where the, you know, damage wasn't that bad. But this here, this is almost irreparable. Okay? We got one whole wing of the house that fell off. Okay, it's about to collapse. And then we got a whole nother wing over here. Is the whole thing cracked down to the bottom? And look at this person, they're trying to hold it together. No, nah, baby, it's a wrap. Kaboom. All right, and that's it. That's it. The ideal course of action, the thing that you was trying to cook up, it didn't work, Scorpio. It didn't work. Okay, it didn't work, and it's about to blow up, and you're not going to be able to hold this together. All right, let love be your guide. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. No, boo. In this particular instance, you're going to have to let love be your guide. So, you know what? I decided I'm just going to go and read it. All right? Let love be your guide. Yeah, because you've been leading with the King of um, Swords here. King of Swords. Always in your head. Crows always in your head. Sword down. You're not talking, but you do try to use your money. You know, and I feel like, and I heard Lord over people because this man is standing on top of the deer's antlers. You know, deers are massive. So I feel like you have um, a substantial amount to give, you know, and we got the coins, but you're standing on top of that. So I feel like you're lording over people. You need to let love be your God. Inner truths, the inner truths is, you know, again, with the queen of pentacles and the five of swords. Inner truth is you can't let money be the guy. Money is not the problem solver for anything, everything. It said let love be your beacon. You cannot just throw money at something and think that's just supposed to fix the problem. It's just not going to fix the problem, okay? You, love is needed in this situation. But see, I feel like you was cooking up a situation where you thought your money was going to be your guide, was going to be your savior because it has been, but money ain't working this time. Kaboom. All right. Fresh approach. Exactly. We go right into the fresh approach. The inner truths is money ain't going to solve this. Fresh approach. Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, the star. I feel like you're going to try to give um, money again. I feel like you're going to try to give money again because in the, in the King of Pentacles right here. This is the King of Pentacles. Lord and over people. This is the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is about, you know, family. This is the husband. Look at him, the husband. He's still sitting on top of the world too. Lord and over people. Man, you got to have a fresh approach, uh, Scorpio. 
All right, you're going to have to come up with some new ideas. Exactly. Queen of Wands. Queens are solutions. The solution is do something different. Okay? Do something different for the family. The star card. Yeah, heal this by doing something different. We've got to take a fresh approach. Oh, and if you do, then you're going to get infinite blessings. Ho, oh, ho! Oh, because we go from the king of pentacles to the emperor. Okay? From the king to the emperor. But I'm going to tell you this, though. That might halt. I hope y'all ain't been out here doing, you know, no cheating or no uh, slippery, slatty uh, activity. I hope y'all ain't not been out here cheating on your spouse. Like, I just got to get the messages because we got the hermit and the, you know, the fiery hole. You know, you become the, man, listen, wrap it up. I'm going to leave that alone. Okay. Mm-hmm. I still don't think you're going to be emotional or leading from the heart. I don't. I don't. Yep. And I'm going to say that because you got the hermit card here. You a mermaid. It's a mermaid sitting up there. Mermaids belong in the water. You belong in the water, but you sitting on top of the lighthouse and you ain't even nowhere near the water. Water always mean emotions to me. You ain't nowhere near the water. You're supposed to be in the water. You're a water sign. This is crazy. You're like, nope. <laughs> mm -mm. Nope. I'm going to do it my way. Listen, Scorpio, don't reinvent the wheel here. Laughter. Two of Cups, Page of Pentacles. <sighs> I feel like if you do come more from an emotional space, I feel like you'll, 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 you'll get a different outcome. That's it. Because this is in, you know, toward the outcome. I feel like if you come from a more loving space, you know, with the laughter, the two of cups and the page of pentacles, I feel like that could be the start of something different because just throwing money at the situation is not fixing the problem. Okay. You need love. You need love, Scorpio. Money is not going to fix the problem. You need love. And again, wrap it up. Okay, so, yeah, I feel like you're trying to figure out how not, this is you, how not to get emotional, man, how not to get emotional, that's you, mm-hmm, and it's like her dress lead all the way down into the water, and the these look like octopus tentacles, you know, and it's wrapped around her dress, so I feel like you're trying not to get sucked down into the emotion. But that's actually what's going to save you. So that's the message I have for you, Scorpio. I hope um, you all stay with me until the end here. Uh, if you like the video, do so, please. If you have not subscribed to the channel, do so, please. I really appreciate it. And if you resonate with this message, leave a comment. I would love to hear your feedback. All right. So again, thank you for stopping by Brown Bag Tarot. And until the next time we get together. Y'all pack light. Be cool.